Let's get right to it. The first step in any machine learning project is problem definition. Once a problem has been identified, you'll proceed to the first step in the process. A synonym for the machine learning process is the machine learning pipeline. This process can be distilled into four core steps. Number one, sourcing your data. Applied machine learning is mostly supervised machine learning. Therefore, we need some data before we start modeling. Data can be sourced in many ways. Currently, many machine learning models are sourced from relational databases. The machine learning engineer will often be responsible for authoring the queries needed to massage that data into a modelable entity, the array. Number two, data cleansing. Once your data is an array, the next step will be massaging that data into the best possible state for modeling. This includes but not limited to removing unneeded attributes, replacing missing values, and altering any textual attributes to numbers. The model's performance is only as good as the data you feed it. The axiom often used here is garbage in and garbage out. Number three, modeling. Building and tuning our model is the next step in the process. Tuning models is often referred to as hyperparameter tuning. At a high level, this means passing parameters into the model that affects the performance of the model. For example, XGBoost uses decision trees as a foundation model in our ensemble. So altering the number of trees in the building process can affect the outcome of the model. Number four, production. Once the model has been built, trained, tested, and tuned, it's ready for fresh data. The true test of any model will be its success on data it's never seen before. Once the model is in production, the machine learning engineer will need to monitor the model's performance to ensure that the predictions are like those achieved in the training and testing phases. All right, let's dig in a little more here. In supervised machine learning, your first step is sourcing your data. For example, I often use a gradient booster called XGBoost which is a supervised machine learning model that works with highly structured data sets, so your data will need to be in the shape of an array. Additionally, most machine learning models only accept numerical inputs, and massaging the data from text to numbers will be the responsibility of the machine learning engineer. Sourcing data in the applied space means sitting down with others in the organization and asking questions about the data you're going to be using to build your models with. Companies have amassed tons of data in relational data stores. The good news is that data is already structured. However, it will be the responsibility of the machine learning engineer to author SQL queries to extract that data and export it for modeling. Once the data has been sourced, it will often be in a raw form. The term raw means that additional steps are going to need to be taken before it can be modeled successfully. The data may have missing values, primary keys, erroneous values, and other artifacts you're going to need to remove prior to modeling. This part of the process is often referred to as data cleansing. Data cleansing refers to the process of cleaning, restructuring, and enriching the raw data available into a more usable format. Countless surveys and studies have found that it's this part of the machine learning process that machine learning engineers spend most of the time on. Data cleansing, or often referred to as data wrangling, is a process-oriented endeavor. In conclusion, there are four core steps in the machine learning process. They are sourcing your data, wrangling or cleansing your data, building and tuning your models, and lastly, putting those models into production. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.